Welcome back. This time we're talking about Passengers, a science fiction film starring Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence as two people who wake up 30 years into a 120 year journey to another solar system. Now let me say up front, I've been struggling with how to do this review because this is a movie that I was really looking forward to both for the concept and for those involved. But for the second time in two weeks, I'm struggling because the trailers for this movie blatantly lie about what its story is. Last week I had collateral damage, which completely misled people on what the movie was going to be about. But in that case, it was a lie of omission. They just left out a major plot point of the movie. And that plot point came up 10 minutes into its runtime, so I didn't feel like a spoiler to tell you what it was. In the case of Passengers, the trailers blatantly lie. And let me explain my point with that. There's a line in the trailers that does not appear in the movie at all. Now, that is not why they lie, because a lot of times there are scenes that don't show up in movies. Look at Rogue One, half the trailers didn't end up in the movie. But I don't think they were purposely trying to mislead us, it was just that there was editing decisions made after those trailers were released. Now, in the case of Passengers, as far as I can tell, the line that was in the trailer that I'm referring to could never have been in this movie, because it blatantly and utterly contradicts what actually happens in the movie that we're given. Now, as I said, this film stars Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt, um, and they are among 5,000 passengers on the Avalon who are to take this 120-year journey in hibernation, waking up in a new solar system where they can then help colonize a new planet. Unfortunately, they wake up 90 years too early. Now, I have to say, this story has immense potential, both from a science fiction standpoint as well as an action standpoint. There's a lot of ways they could have told this story in a very entertaining fashion. They could have gone the hard sci-fi route, they could have gone the straight action route. Either way there could have been a lot of fun with this. Unfortunately the path they chose to take with it is not nearly as entertaining or thought-provoking as they believed it would be. Now I will say the film looks beautiful. There's great set design, great special effects, and we get two solid performances from Pratt and Lawrence. It's just the, it's just the fact that the story is just doesn't work, or didn't work for me at least. And this is where I'm getting into my issues on what's a spoiler, what's not, because there's a certain thing that happens late into the first act that the trailers do not tell you about. And normally I would be fine with that. I don't want the trailers to give away that kind of plot point. It's the fact that the trailers blatantly lied about that and set this movie up as something different. So I think a lot of people are gonna go in expecting something different than what they're gonna ultimately get. Now I said something similar in my review for Arrival, which I think a lot of people mistakenly went into thinking it was going to be a action-filled science fiction adventure, and instead got a hard sci-fi drama. But in that case, the trailers didn't really mislead people, they just assumed the wrong thing. In this case, the trailers blatantly lie and are trying to make you think that there's going to be a lot more action than what you ultimately get, plus that the personal story between Chris Pratt's and Jennifer Lawrence's characters are going to be much different than what you ultimately get. And the result is a film that has a very slow first act and a action-filled third act that really only works if you buy the character arcs in the second act. And for me, I didn't. I did not buy the middle act of this movie. It just did not work for me. And because of the pacing issues, there just don't really have enough time at the end to resolve everything in a believable way. It all just feels way too rushed, and those that were looking for action finally are probably going to start enjoying the movie right when it ends. Passengers is one of those movies that I left the theater thinking, oh, you know, it's, it's not good, but it's, it's all right. Um, but really, the more I think about it, the more I let it just sort of marinate, the less I like it. This is a film that does not age well with more thought, especially in a season where we've had a much better science fiction action film with Rogue One and a much better sci-fi movie in Arrival. So I've basically reached the end of my review. If you don't want to know what that plot point is I keep referring to, go ahead and stop now. But if you do want to know, I do feel like I want to say it in case someone is interested in knowing that before making a decision on whether they actually want to go see this movie. So if you're still here at this point, I'm going to assume that you want to know what that plot point is. And the answer is, Chris Pratt's character is the only one to wake up at the beginning of this movie. The first act is essentially him being like a castaway on this ship, alone. 
at some point he becomes obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence's character, watching her still asleep in her hibernation pod. And he's faced with the decision on whether or not he's going to live the rest of his life alone, or he's going to subject someone else to that by waking them up. Of course, that could have provided a very interesting, tension-filled first act. But anyone who's seen the trailers know what he's going to ultimately do. And you can imagine how the second act is going to play out with that secret hanging over everybody. And it basically made the entire movie feel very uncomfortable. And, and really sapped most, if not all, of the enjoyment I could have gotten out of it. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil anything else. But I just wanted to let that be known for those that wanted to know it beforehand. So if you've seen Passengers, what did you think about it? What did you think about the differences between what we were told we were going to get and what we actually got? Do you think the trailers actually lied like I believe they did? As always, you can subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other reviews, and until next time, I'll see you at the movies.